hey guys welcome back to my youtube channel my name is chris it guy as always and today i'm going to show you how to install the lua programming language on the windows 10 and before we do anything i have to check if there's no previous uh, lua installation by go in the run and type cmd and once you are in the cmd type lua and when it's return that the lua is not recognizable as an internal or external command you have to keep watching this video and you have to see how we are going to do this one so go ahead and close this uh, cmd and go ahead and open your favorite browser in this case i'm using clone go ahead and open it or right click and what you're going to type in the search bar go ahead and type uh, for example lua binaries or binaries like this like this one and when this is now auto completed go ahead and press enter and the first link that will come will be from lowerbinaries.sourceforge.net go ahead and click here and to bring all this one and when you try to scroll all the way down down here you can see that there will be uh, some release and in this case as the time of making this video the 5.4.2 is the current release i'm going to go ahead and press on this and it will restart download and it will be the, the, here now go ahead and click on this the green button and once you click on there you have to wait for a couple of seconds for the download to be started and uh, there we go let's wait for a bit all right cool go ahead and press on download and it is not that heavy and once it is done you can go ahead and open as it is now a zip file and i'm having my own lar installed if you have another um, archive manager you can use it i prefer to use a winlar so i'm going to go ahead and press open and this will be all the files that will be contained in here so i'm going to go ahead on my local disk c i'm going to open my explorer i will go on my local disk c and I will go on my program files and I will create a new folder here and call it uh, Lua. It will ask me for the permission and I will have press continue. And to uh, let me delay this one and create it so uh, as you can see what I did. Go ahead and let click and new and make a folder. And in this case, I'm going to call this Lua and press enter or right click on the free space uh, click on the free space go ahead and double click on this folder and go on your uh, files that you downloaded and try to drag and drop here to copy them and once they ask you for the permission of course you need to authorize it as it is now in the program files and it is now a protected folder go ahead and press on do all this for the current items and you continue and to bring all the files like this one and for the sake of calling this row of uh, 53 application so easily i'm going to name it to only lua i'm going to go ahead and go and type and uh, go on the name and i will remove this 53 and i will have to click in the free space it will ask me for uh, authorizing this as an administrator i'm going to go ahead and press continue and once i'm done we are not done yet but we have to uh, add this uh, path to our environment variable so as to be able to be recognized by our system so i'm going to go ahead on the top right like here and do right click copy address once i copy address go on your explorer again do right click go to properties and go on advanced system settings go on environment variables and when you go on the system variables you will see where it's written path go ahead and click on new to add um to uh go ahead and press on edit and once you are here you can go ahead and press on new and it will bring this like this one go ahead and paste it like this and once you are done go ahead and press ok and press ok again and press ok again you can close this one and close all this and we're going to check if the now the lower environment is ready go ahead and open the cmd again when you try to type lua you can see that i am not redirected to this lua um, ide only way i can write some code here and i'm going to try to see if my environment is now working as expected i'm going to go ahead and quit this one to do that i will 
you have to pick one of the favorite for the only way you can save your project in this case let me go ahead and uh, uh, create a new folder on my documents and i'm going to call this Rua project for example and inside this folder I can go ahead and create a new file for example let me do uh, create a new um for example let me go ahead and try to open my new notepad and notepad and i'm going to type for example some sample of code like here for example uh print uh for example hello uh hello viewers uh, viewers please serp like this and you can also add for another piece of code for example print for example uh like this video like this right and when you go to save you can save it and i give the extension of dot lua i will go on my documents and i will go on my raw projects and i will try to type for example um taste dot lua and here i will go on all of files and i will go and save this and once you come back to your raw uh, directory you can see now to the um uh you can see that there will be this file that is called uh, test and it is now type lower source file and when you go on here at the top and you read this one and you try to open the cmd like here to open the cmd in this current path and once you are here you can go ahead and try to access our file by typing rua and type test uh, dot rua like this one and we're going to press enter uh, let's see where there is a problem in our file so you can see that there will be a problem here now this is now the problem and you can try to call it again boom you can see now hero viewers please sub and like this video and as this message says please if you like this, this video go ahead and please like and subscribe if you are new here and if you meet with any problem or while you're setting this raw programming language or programming environment i will be right here to help you like always and and i will see you guys in the next one peace up